1997 was a general election year in which Daniel Arap Moy would be defending his presidential seat for the last time. That year, due to pressure from opposition parties, the church and civil society activists, his government was forced to accept a few major amendments to the constitution, one of which limited to two the number of terms a sitting president could serve. It had not been an easy victory for the opposition. On July 7th, there were anti-government rallies in many parts of the country. In Nairobi, the Saba Saba rallies were broken up by the police with brutal force. That day, more than 15 people died as a result of excessive use of force by the police. There was outrage in the country and abroad. On July 31st, the International Monetary Fund cut off its line of credit to Kenya in an obvious attempt to pressurize the Moy government into less authoritarian behavior. A few days later, the World Bank suspended all its grants and loans to the country. As in the previous year, the opposition to Moy and the ruling party Kanu continued to be divided. In August, when the Civil Society-led National Convention Executive Council, NCEC, called for continued mass action to protest the Moy government's foot-dragging over political reforms, Parliament, including opposition MPs, rejected their call. Instead, Parliament came up with a package of reforms, including the limit on the President's terms in office, that went into effect before the December general election. On polling day, December 29th, the only major leader not to vie for the presidency was Matiba, who called for a national boycott of the general election, arguing that the whole exercise was unconstitutional, null and void. Trying to dislodge Moy and Kanu from power were Kibaki of the DP, Michael Kijana Wamalwa of Ford, Kenya, Raila Odinga of the NDP, Kimani Wanyoike of Ford People, Charity Ngilu of the Social Democratic Party, Wangari Mathai of the Liberal Party of Kenya, Koigiwa Wamwere of the Kenya National Democratic Alliance, Munyoa Wayaki of the United Patriotic Party of Kenya, and George Anyona of the Kenya Social Congress. Even before the count was all in, it was clear who would benefit from this truly crowded field. On the economic and business front, the previous year's heavy El Nino rains forced Moy to declare the flooding at the coast a national disaster and to set up a fund to help victims. That year, Moy reappointed Mika Chesaram, governor of the Central Bank of Kenya, shortly after the bank had sold the controversial Grand Regency Hotel in Nairobi back to its former owner, Kamlesh Patni. Patni was also owner of Goldenberg International, which had been involved in an export compensation scandal that fleeced the Central Bank of more than 2.6 billion shillings. 1997 was the year large quantities of titanium and zircon were discovered at Mambrui in the coast province by the Canadian firm Teomin Resources Incorporated. And South African breweries launched Castle Brewing Kenya Limited with a 2.4 billion shilling Thika brewing plant. Castle would be the first major challenge to Kenya breweries monopoly on the country's beer market. In international sports, Wilson Boyd Kipketer broke the men's 3000 m steeplechase world record in Zurich, Switzerland, only to see it broken shortly after by Bernard Barmasai at the World Championships in Athens, Greece. Other world records broken by Kenyans at the Athens Championships were the men's 5000 m by Daniel Komen and the men's 10000 m by Paul Tergat. Kenyans would also win three international marathons that year. The Boston Men's Marathon by Lamek Agute, the New York Men's Marathon by John Kagwe, and the London Women's Marathon by Joyce Chepchumba. In 1997, Kenyans said farewell 
to former freedom fighter and Nairobi East and later Kilungu MP, John David Kali. Former Madeira MP and first indigenous Kenyan to be allowed to grow coffee by the colonial government, Davidson Kuguru. First Kenyan black African cardiologist, Professor Hilary Ojiambo. Former mayor of Nairobi, Andrew Ngumba. First Secretary General of the Central Organization of Trade Unions, Clement Lubembe. And former police commissioner, Philip Kilonzo. <laughs>